DC. Here he is, the one, the only. Don't call him Kevin Ferguson. He, of course, is Kimbo Slice. And when you're talking about mixed martial arts and its footprint in the United States of America, Kimbo Slice is a guy who deserves a lot of credit for this mass expansion, at least in my mind. Absolutely, because when Kimbo Slice fought, people tuned in from the Ultimate Fighter to his days outside of the UFC. Some of the biggest TV ratings we've ever experienced are attributed to Kimbo Slice. He's a guy that people just want to see. From the backyard brawls to the octagon, Kimball Slice is very special. And probably the nicest guy you would ever want to meet, except look like when it. that octagon door <laughs> closes. Look like exactly. it, but he is a great guy. Kimbo Slice has stepped into the octagon. This time he wants to leave with that championship belt. So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proving ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kimbo Slice. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Israel, the last day of Bender, Adesanya. All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready in the fight? octagon for this one. Ready. Go ahead. Well, he came into the UFC as one of the hottest prospects the octagon had seen in years, and Israel Adesanya has done nothing to diminish that hype. Stuffed 12 takedowns in his UFC debut, and the expectation is that most opponents are going to try to ground the last style bender. Let's see if he can keep this fight up right here tonight. Really great nice action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautiful timed in place there, and a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook will be... did a great job of blocking that punch. Frantic pace early on to this one. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Just over three minutes to go. Oh. 
Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Beautiful block there. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon with fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, my goodness. Gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry it. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? This is a terrible position. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Changing the position. Now he's going full mount. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Israel Adesanya is back in full mount. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Oh, 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Adesanya. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language. <laughs> His opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, Adesanya's getting going now. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Kimbo slices blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that. Oh, my goodness! And there it is! Oh, my goodness! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style vendor, Sanya. All right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets the job done in spectacular fashion.